Who is ready for a 23-minute Vidoc breakdown? Yeah, dude. Neither am I. Bungie dropped a 15-minute Vidoc the other day called Forged in the Storm. As you might imply, the Vidoc was about Beyond Light, what to expect, and some of Bungie's experiences with developing the game from home instead of their office. Now, the reason I didn't put out a video immediately after is because there weren't a ton of new gameplay revelations. Stasis was shown, but not really in a capacity that we haven't seen, although we did have some new footage, but you didn't need me to tell you that. As far as exotics go, well, we've seen most of them already, and the Vidoc didn't really offer a ton there that we didn't know either. So what the hell did they talk about for 15 minutes? Well, it was a lot of story stuff, and I mean a lot of story stuff. However, if you want to actually see what was revealed, I suggest watching the Vidoc or finding out on Reddit because there are significant story spoilers in the Vidoc. Even though the Vidoc is very good, if you don't want any spoilers going into Season 12 and Beyond Light, I would highly recommend not watching it if you haven't by this point. I don't want to reveal any spoilers in it just in case people out there do not want them. And with that information in mind, I have my quick spoiler-free thoughts on the Vidoc. Overall, I enjoyed the Vidoc very much, but that's par for the course at this point. Bungie has consistently had very good marketing, trailers, teasers, all that. But I am still not allowing myself to get beyond my current hype levels, which at the moment are still very reserved. We've been here before, guys. Just, just keep it together. You know, I know new content day is very exciting, especially major expansions, but just keep it together. I do think that for veteran players, just my hunch, that Beyond Light will be better than Shadowkeep. And I say veteran players specifically because if you already played the moon before Shadowkeep, then maybe you weren't as enchanted with Shadowkeep. However, if you couldn't tell from my tone... I'm not exactly stoked at how much information Bungie chose to reveal about the story in this way. We talked about this on my stream the other day, and I realized that not everyone feels this way, nor am I implying that Bungie marketing should keep all of its secrets close to the chest. Some people like finding out literally anything and everything the moment it becomes available. That's why people data mine the game but I personally would have loved to have experienced the things revealed in the Vidoc without knowing about all of them ahead of time. I will say that some of the hype of hypothesizing what could be happening is really cool and fun to read, but I prefer the shock value in the moment, experiencing it live. I feel like this about Cade's death in Forsaken. We found out that Cade was dead through... Twitter and Twitter videos. Imagine getting to experience that in-game without knowing ahead of time and how much more of a visceral experience it would have been. Bungie could have spoken about everything else about Forsaken, story beats, something goes wrong at Prison of Elders, the score and escape, etc. You could have left out the Cade being dead part and it would have made the experience much more memorable instead of just, yeah, by the way, he's dead, posting it on Twitter. Bungie did sneak in the Dreaming City, though, and a couple of other things, so it wasn't a total loss in the secret department, but Cade's death was easily one of the most impactful things to happen in the Destiny story universe as far as things we, as players, actually got to experience in-game. However, if you potentially bought Forsaken thinking it was the Cade expansion and then he just drops dead five minutes in, I can understand how that would be upsetting. That being said... I understand the need to detail something like Season 12 a little bit more. Shadowkeep launched with Season 8, and you got both if you bought Shadowkeep. So Bungie could have maybe had that ambiguity with Season 8. With Beyond Light, you don't automatically get Season 12. So I understand the hesitation with just launching the season, giving zero guidance as to what is happening in the story. There are going to be people who buy Season 12 and not Beyond Light for whatever those reasons might be. The Collector's Edition of Beyond Light also reveals a good amount of very interesting story information as well, and universe and world building, 
Although I am, again, skeptical of those things ever making their way into the actual game beyond anything more than grimoire cards. I am also skeptical that Bungie has held anything back to potentially reveal as a secret this season and expansion. I'm guessing that they would have at least one or two tricks still up their sleeve, but I'm wondering if having a couple more than that would help out those jaded gamers and have them maybe feel a bit more excitement when it comes to the story of Destiny. Fortunately, things have been getting a little more cohesive there. Anyway, those are my quick thoughts on the Vidoc. I still enjoyed it very much, but, you know, I, I kind of wish Bungie held a few more cards to the chest. I'm hoping they still have some that they're holding. Obviously, have no way of knowing, but, you know, we'll see, I guess. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time.